In today's episode, we will uncover the story of a Danish physicist and chemist who discovered the relationship between magnetism and electricity and hence build upon that by utilizing the electric current into the magnetism applications. Such relationship has not only left the scientific community in awe, but also ignited the flames of innovation, leading to the birth of electromagnetic theory. We are speaking about Hans Christian Ørsted. Hans Christian Ørsted was born in Rudkøbing, Denmark in 1777. From an Ely age, Ørsted had a special interest in science as he was working in his father's pharmacy. Despite his interest, he and his brother Anders completed their education at home. Right after, Ørsted traveled to Copenhagen in 1793 and applied at Copenhagen University in the same year. By 1796, Ørsted had won a scholarship for his papers in both aesthetics and physics. In 1806, Ørsted was appointed to the University of Copenhagen as a professor, where he conducted his first physical studies on electric currents and acoustics. Ørsted made several innovative achievements during his lifetime, many of which laid the foundation for the development of modern physics and our understanding of electromagnetism. In 1799, he received his doctorate for the architectonics of natural metaphysics. In 1806, he assumed a professorship at the University of Copenhagen, and his initial scientific investigations revolved around the subjects of electric currents and acoustics. Under his leadership, the university created additional facilities and developed a comprehensive physics and chemistry department. In 1819, Ørsted did the groundbreaking work of isolating piperine and giving it a name. In 1820, he reported that a compass needle put close to an electric current deviates from its typical north-south orientation. The discovery showed that an electric current may produce a magnetic field and hence established the basic relationship between electricity and magnetism. Additionally, in 1822, Ørsted was one of the first to develop a piezometer to evaluate liquid compressibility. In 1824, he established the Society for the Dissemination of Natural Science, SNU, a society with the mission of promoting the dissemination of scientific knowledge to the public. Since 1908, this organization has been granting the Ørsted Medal to recognize exceptional achievements by Danish physicists. In 1825, and for the first time, Ørsted made a substantial contribution to chemistry by synthesizing aluminum in its metallic state. In the early 1930s, the term Ørsted was adopted as the unit of measurement for magnetic field strength. Ørsted throughout his lifetime had held many positions, the most recent being an honorary foreign membership in the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, in 1849. On March 9, 1851, Orsted passed away in Copenhagen at the age of 73 and was laid to rest in Assistance Cemetery. Over his life, Orsted had a strong commitment to advancing the scientific education and research. Orsted was an important catalyst behind the founding of scientific societies and academic institutions in Denmark that is thriving till the day. Hans Christian Ørsted had a profound impact on the development of modern physics and chemistry. His legacy endures in the form of Ørsted's law and the countless scientists and researchers inspired by his work. That was the brief biography of the Danish physicist and chemist Hans Christian Ørsted. We hope that you enjoyed it. More stories will be covered, so ensure that you're subscribed and clicked the bell icon. Please help us by liking, commenting, and sharing. This encourages us to deliver more. Wait for the next video on the Electricity and Magnetism channel, and we'll see you in the next one.